All right, time for the weekly ice bath. Let's let's do it. I forgot to put the SPF cream on my face. Oh well, 15 minutes. So, good morning. It's 9-ish, um, 9.15 on a Thursday here in California. Today's gonna be the first day in several hundred days in Sacramento where it's gonna hit 100 degrees. It hasn't been 100 for a, a long time, and we're used to it being well over 100 during the summer. So we had a very long, luxurious spring with the temperatures in the 70s and 80s. And then the 90s, and now this weekend will be hot. Today will be 101. But I would say right now the temperature is probably in the 70s. It's early in the morning. Didn't think too much about this today. The dread factor seems to decline uh, right until I start the button. <laughs> and uh, actually, when I start putting the ice in the water, the dread slowly se seeps in. And, uh, and it's just a matter of doing it. Just fucking doing it. So this little bee here, can you see it? He came around earlier and I whacked him. But uh, he's a strong little bee. There's my dog. Hey, Taffy. Nothing going on over here. I'll show you a picture of Taffy. She's very curious now. What's going on? I ordered the... Uh, Pro Lawn Fasting Mimicking Diet. So that's a package that you buy and it gives you five days worth of minimal food. And they give you so little that it both keeps you somewhat satisfied but also is the same as if you fasted completely. So it makes it easier to get through the five days. So I'm starting one on Wednesday, and then uh, I bought two of them, and then another one next month after that. Somehow I went from 195 back in January to 215. And I'm tall, so I don't look fat, but I can feel it, you know, just move a little slower. So. I'm going back on the uh, strict uh, keto and no breakfast, intermittent fasting and keto. And then I'll do these uh, prolon fasts, a couple of those, and I should get below 200 pretty quick. My fighting weight. This fucking ice bath is dedicated to Chris C. Chris C. is my other brother. So I was number one in the family. I was the firstborn. And then 18 months later, Dave came. And then I think like four years later, Chris, Chris came. I distinctly remember being in kindergarten and my mom having to go to the hospital. And uh, I'm 
must have been like five or six, I guess, if I was in kindergarten. Anyway, uh, let me apologize, Chris, right off the bat, if I was a shitty big brother. I do remember teasing you and probably picking on you a lot, I mean that you were the runt of the litter. <laughs> uh, I was definitely, as a child, closer to my brother Dave, because we were closer in age, and Chris was always so much younger. And then when I left the house, um, Dave and Chris got closer, um, which was great, you know. Um, I guess my some of my memories of Chris, I really remember his uh, bachelor party. Just got like probably over 30 years ago now. Um, we rented a, a, a mobile home. And my God, did we trash that thing. We drove it up to... Um, uh, up to um, Lake Tahoe. So we were drinking. We had a TV playing porn. We were doing all kinds of drugs. I mean, it was crazy. But we had a designated driver. We stayed at some hotel. I don't remember. I remember. I do remember being so high and drunk that I ran into Lake Tahoe, which was pretty freaking cold um, at the time. But yeah, I remember doing that. I'll show you some pictures. We were so much younger then. Um, but lately, um, I've gotten to spend more time with Chris because he comes to visit my mom. Um, so I care for my mom here at the house. And then he comes every Saturday and we have lunch. So we've been doing that now for a couple of years. So we get to hang out a little bit. And it's been really nice, really nice. Um, Chris is like another another guy who's just lived a really exemplar, exemplary life. He's happily married. He's got two girls who are doing great in life. He's got a great job. He's had it for a long time. He'll be re retiring, I guess, in like five years or so. And uh, they're starting to do some traveling now which is awesome. They just came back from a trip in uh, a trip in uh, New York. They just went to New York, um, all four of them. So it's really great to see him, you know, going to Europe and go to New York and seeing the world um, while he's still healthy and happy. So, um, yeah, so, I love my brothers. I love you, Chris. And it's nice that we're getting to hang out a little bit more and get to know each other at this point in our lives. So um, you're an inspiration for me and I'm sure many people. And I'm really grateful you are my youngest brother. Um, so this uh, ice bath is dedicated to you. It's a really beautiful day. It's like completely clear. At this time of the day, the weather's just perfect. About four or five o'clock, it'll be really hot. What are you doing, Taffy? Hmm? You're a good little girl. Good dog. Yes, you are. It's remarkable how good the hearing is of dogs. She hears things that, you know, I don't hear. Very sensitive hearing. Mm. Nine and a half minutes. It feels pretty good right now, and I don't feel I'm shivering much. You know, I think I put too much water in, and I think when I got in, a lot of the ice um, popped out. So next time I gotta make sure I don't put too much in. 
and maybe put the ice in like 10 minutes ahead of time. Let it kind of marinate in here. Um, usually I just throw the bag in and then you can get in and let it cool. But I think I fucked up and I think it's a lot of it's on the ground. Um, or it could be just that it's so much warmer today, the sun has warmed it. Um, yeah, this is like Tony Robbins temperature, 55 degrees. Cake. Well, these are the things you learn. Oh, there's my little friendly bee. Really curious about what I'm doing here. This little bumblebee there. There he is. I don't know if you can see him in the video. Yeah, come on, no. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> what exactly do you want? Well, that's interesting. He seems curious about me. There he is. Ah. Oh, I saw a movie yesterday. Knock at the cabin. Ah. If you want to be like engaged in a movie, it's an M. Night Shyamalan movie knock at the cabin and the premise is and i knew the premise before i watched it is that there are these people in a cabin two men and their daughter and uh these four people show up and knock on the knock on the door and knock on the cabin and they basically say that the world's going to come to an end the apocalypse is near the only way that they can stop the apocalypse is if one of those three that are in the house, so there's two dads and, and a little uh, Asian girl, they must decide who will die and they must kill them. So the four people can't kill them, they can't force them, all they can do is try and convince them. So that's all I'll say about it. The really, really suspenseful and smart, you know. You could really kind of get where everyone was coming from and and it really you really had to question your own you know uh ability to discern facts from fiction and uh you know uh, could could what they are saying be true you know really good i'm also watching a series called suits there's 125 episodes and I read about it somewhere. They said, it's a really good show. And you, if you like it, you know, you got 125 hours of it. So I do like it. I've watched a couple seasons. So it's nice to have something that's always there, you know, that I can always go back to. Mm. I love that, like when I was watching Game of Thrones, you know, I could always go back and just pick right up where I left off. Or The Sopranos. Both of which I've watched two times all the way through. Boy, that sun feels so good. Mm -hmm. mm. So what did we learn today? Jay's feeling a little fucking fat. He's gonna go on a diet and also do some prolonged fasting. He's found some good things to watch on TV. Oh, I had a really nice uh, day with my daughter Paulina and my ex-wife Carrie in Berkeley. That was on Monday. Um, we met, had some coffee, ate some stuff. Then we went to a uh, really cool place called Flowerland. I'll show you the picture of the plant I got. And uh, it's just really cool succulents and plants. So I picked one and I picked a pot and they, they potted it for me. Then we went to a beer garden. We spent most of the day there in the sunshine, drinking beer and eating I ate a carnita salad, which is really freaking good. And then we went to another place that had tapas, Las Marchas, in Berkeley. So it was a great day. It's always great to hang out with my daughter um, and Carrie. 
we make a nice little trio. Um, we all get along just fine and enjoy each other's company. My daughter said she's the happiest when she's with the two of us together. So um, it's nice to give her that and treat them to a really nice day. Okay, it's 15 minutes. Boy, the time goes so fast. Kathy, what's going on? What you doing? Mm. Ooh, ah. 